Hi, my name is Shannon, and I'd first like to thank the Girl Scouts for this incredible opportunity and honor. There's an African proverb that says, if you educate a boy, you educate an individual. If you educate a girl, you educate a community. <laughs> girls are the world's largest natural untapped resource. By educating girls, we empower them to share their ideas, skills, and knowledge with their family and friends. This educates the entire community and helps lift villages out of poverty. Almost two years ago, I founded a project that would accomplish just this. My organization is called SHARE, Shannon's After School Reading Exchange. It is a girls-only program that I created in July 2008. I traveled with my family to a rural village in Bukoba, Tanzania. This is in East Africa. I brought 500 pounds of donated children's books that I had cl collected the months before. I couldn't believe how poor the school was. The students walk miles to school barefooted. They do not eat the entire day until they return home, and they sit four to a desk. School supplies are so limited that they will break a pencil into three parts to share it with each other. The school has no electricity, no running water, and no books. I led a group of volunteers to help me renovate a classroom, which was relatively easy. The real challenge, and surprise, was to convince the parents to let their daughters join SHARE. Three parent meetings were held with the headmistress to introduce the program and speak about the virtues of educating girls. Most parents agreed to let their daughter join SHARE. However, several declined. They wanted their daughters to perform household chores instead. Getting things done in a developing country is a lot harder than I thought. But the classroom was finally repaired. With added glass windows and a secure door, the SHARE program was finally started. The girls so appreciated the library that even after three hours, they all refused to break, wanting instead to continue reading. I think SHARE might really make a difference and improve their lives. The program has grown since the Gold Ward project was completed one year ago. This summer, I returned to Tanzania and I opened up three SHARE branches. I was amazed at the change in the SHARE girls in just one year. Their English had improved tremendously. Um, they were confident, talkative, and had great eye contact, which girls in this culture are shy about. Cher also empowered the mothers. I think that now they actually think that it is possible for their daughters to achieve a better lives for themselves, their families, and their communities. When Cher girls become educated leaders, their mothers are empowered to become leaders themselves. Today, Cher has 150 girls, ages 9 to 16, in three schools, learning English to build a better future for themselves. Never in a million years would I think that my Gold Award project would go so far, but they say Africa changes you, and it does. I'm thankful to the Girl Scouts for this opportunity. Because of them, I found a cause worth fighting for. Thank you.